next we are having next topic change of state so we can change the state state of matter like solid you can convert into liquid liquid you can convert into gas or reverse also you can do gas also you can convert in liquid plus liquid also you can convert in gas so what do you mean by change of state matter can exist in all three physical state as we have learned already that matter is going to exist in all three physical states that is solid liquid and gas under different conditions of temperature and pressure but it is only possible under different conditions of temperature and pressure because solid arrangement of solid is different arrangement of liquid is different arrangement of gases is different but yes we can change the physical state of solid we can easily change the physical of solid how by either heating it or by cooling it so how it can be happen we are going to study one by one for example ice solid can be converted into liquid for example you are having a cube of ice so can you convert this cube of ice into water yes or no yes obviously you can convert this ice cube in water by giving it heat to it if we are going to keep this ice in a room temperature or this ice is going to take up the heat from environment it is going to convert into a liquid that is a water again water or liquid when water or liquid you are going to heat further further it is going to boil boil means it is going to change into the gaseous form similarly on cooling the steam is converted into water whatever steam is formed here on cooling steam can convert into liquid on further cooling liquid can convert into the solid fine so this is the process this is a, a, a way by which we can change the state of matter here you can see dramatically that how state of matter can be changed for example first we are having a solid so when we melt the solid here firstly melting will come when you melt the solid it will convert into a liquid and when you boil the liquid or even your evaporation takes place it converts into the gaseous state and when gaseous state deposition is there gaseous state directly converting into the solid state so what do you mean by this freezing melting evaporation condensation all things we are going to discuss now change of state is a process of change of substance from one physical state to another physical state by changing its temperature so here it comes the definition of change of state that what is change of state change of state means when we are going to change the one physical state of substance to its another physical state by changing its temperature this change of state can only takes place by changing its temperature either you can heat it either you can cool it anything you can do in that process only change of state can takes place okay next we are having change of state may takes place due to following processes so what are the processes we are going to study here how the change of state can be done so first we are having the process in which a substance in solid state on heating changes to the liquid state so first method we are having melting melting or fusion what do you mean by melting it is a process in which a solid state on heating when you are going to heat this solid state this uh, ice you can, we are going to heat when this solid state by giving the heat going to convert into a liquid state this process is known as melting and the fixed temperature and not at all temperature that ice is going to melt only but yes at fixed temperature this ice or the solid is going to melt into a liquid under atmospheric pressure means whatever atmospheric pressure is there in the surrounding that should be same only but we have to just change the temperature so at the fixed temperature when solid is going to convert into a liquid that fixed or particular temperature is known as melting point next we are having freezing or solidification what do you mean by freezing it is just opposite of the melting as in a case of melting we are melt uh, that solid is going to melt into a liquid but in a case of solidification or freezing liquid is further going to change into the ice so how you can convert water into ice in your houses how you are converting water into solid how you are converting by cooling it so what do you mean by freezing or solidification see the definition the process in which a substance in liquid state on cooling changes to solid state so that process in which we are converting this liquid state 
into a solid state by cooling it as we know when we are cooling the water into a freezer then only it converts into a liquid or into converts into a solid and this process is only done at a fixed temperature means at fixed temperature only liquid is going to convert into a solid and that fixed temperature is known as freezing point and the full process is known as freezing or solidification fine the heat released by the liquid during its solidification at its freezing point is known as latent heat it is very important that what is latent heat of freezing freezing point we have learned that freezing point means the fixed temperature at which that uh, uh, liquid is going to convert into solid that is a freezing point no doubt but don't get confused in freezing point and latent heat of freezing what do you mean by latent heat of freezing for example here i am having a liquid so we have learned already this thing also that whenever we are giving heat to something that thing is going to expand but when we are taking heat out of that body that thing is going to contract similarly in a case of liquid when we are going to cool this liquid cool means we are taking the heat out from the liquid heat out from liquid here we are taking heat out from the liquid and whenever we are taking heat out from something for example this is a liquid i'm going to show with a molecular arrangement this is a particle arrangement of liquid when we are going to cool the liquid cooling means contraction is going to takes place so here contraction means particles are going to come close to each other so this liquid is going to convert into a solid but the heat that is going to release from this liquid during its solidification at a freezing point is known as latent heat of freezing whatever amount of heat is going to release out from the liquid by the cooling process that amount of heat is known as latent heat of freezing next we are having vaporization or boiling so what do you mean by boiling in boiling the substance in a liquid state on heating changes into a vapor state for example in this vessel i am having a water when you are going to heat the water obviously water is going to boil so when this water will boil it will convert from a liquid state of matter to gaseous state of matter but this also takes place at a fixed temperature it means not at all temperature it is going to convert from liquid to gas it is also going boiling is also going to takes place at a fixed temperature only and that fixed temperature which we are giving to the liquid so that it can convert into the gaseous state that fixed point is known as boiling point and the process in which liquid changes to gaseous state that process is known as vaporization or boiling fine next we are having the heat supplied during the boiling process is known as latent heat of vaporization so whatever heat we are supplying during the boiling process so that this liquid can give the, take the heat and convert into a gaseous state that heat is known as latent heat of vaporization next we are having condensation or liquefaction so what do you mean by condensation or liquefaction the process in which a substance in vapor state on cooling changes to liquid state at a fixed temperature so see it very carefully it is very wonderful process so what does now going to happen for example here you are having bottle and in this bottle cold water is there okay a uh, cold cool water is there inside this bottle might be you have also seen that when you kept this cold water bottle outside like out the of the refrigerator some kind of droplets are going to come outside this bottle why this droplets are coming outside of bottle you know or your bottle is leaked or no your bottle is not not leaked but what will happen now here see carefully in the atmosphere as we know moisture is there water particles are there or you can say moisture is there when you will keep this freezing water bottle outside the freezer or outside the refrigerator it will all the molecules which are outside this outside this bottle in the atmosphere that molecules are going to stick to the bottle so when they are going to stick because in the atmosphere the molecules are not that much cold in a summer the molecules are not that much cold so when these hot molecules are going to come in a contact of cold bottle they are going to become cool so when they become cool they are going to convert into the like droplet form so this process in which a substance in the vapor state 
फर्स्टली सब्सटांस फर्स्टली दिस वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स आर इन अ वेपर स्टेट बट वैन दे आर कोल्ड वैन दे कम इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद द बॉटल दे कन्वर्ट्स इन टू अ लिक्विड सो दिस वेपर्स कन्वर्ट इन टू अ लिक्विड दैट इज वाई वी आर वॉचिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ और डिफरेंट लाइक मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ वाटर आउटसाइड द बॉटल एंड दिस प्रोसेस इन विच वाटर वेपर कन ऑन कूलिंग कन्वर्ट्स इन टू अ लिक्विड वाटर वेपर ऑन कूलिंग कन्वर्ट्स इन टू अ लिक्विड दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज कंडेंसिएशन और लिक्विफिकेशन एंड दिस ऑल्सो टेक्स प्लेस एट द फिक्सड टेम्परेचर ओके एंड दिस फिक्सड टेम्परेचर इज नोन एज लिक्विफिकेशन पॉइंट और कंडेंसिएशन पॉइंट and the amount of heat released during this process how the heat released as you know in vapor when the particles of water are in a vapor form in a atmosphere here they are somewhat like a, somewhat heat is there in this particles so firstly they are going to release their heat out when they will stick here when they will stick on a cold bottle they are going to release their heat out when they will give give out the heat so they are going to convert into the liquid state and this amount of heat released during this process is known as latent heat of liquefaction next we are having sublimation so what do you mean by sublimation it is a process in which process of transformation of substance on heating directly from a solid state to the gaseous state for example in this like uh, vessel you are having some kind of solid and when these Uh, solid are going to take the heat from the surrounding from solid they are directly converting into gaseous state see this gaseous states so this process is known as sublimation in which solid directly convert into a gaseous state without undergoing into the liquid state this process is known as sublimation for example naphthalene balls might be you have seen the naphthalene balls which we are keeping inside the woolen cloths so that it is not going to damage by the insects so that naphthalene balls are also example of sublimation that balls are going to take the heat from surrounding and by give by taking the heat from surrounding they are going to direct they are going to convert directly from solid to the vapor form next we are having definition of sublimate and sublime so what do you mean by sublimate a solid which undergo sublimation the solid which is kept inside or this solid naphthalene ball that solid which is going to undergo sublimation that solid is a sublimate and the gaseous form of that sublimate is a sublime okay during sublimation process the sublimate solid absorb heat which is known as latent heat of sublimation as i already told whenever sublimate is there or whenever any naphthalene ball or like anything is there firstly that naphthalene ball is going to take the heat from the surrounding by taking heat from surrounding then only it converts into the gaseous state so this much amount of heat that is taking from the uh, environment that heat is known as latent heat of sublimation or that much amount of heat that any solid is going to absorb that much amount of heat is known as latent heat of sublimation next we are having deposition or desublimation deposition or desublimation is a reverse of sublimation as in sublimation solid directly converts into the gaseous form okay but in desublimation gaseous form is going to convert directly into the solid form without undergoing into liquid form so deposition is a reverse process of sublimation it is also known as desublimation process deposition is a process of direct transition of substance so what do you mean by this deposition it is a direct transition or change of substance from gaseous or vapor state on cooling to the solid state as in sublimation firstly that solid is taking the heat from environment then only converting into the liquid or sorry into the gaseous form but here gaseous form will firstly going to take firstly going to cool this gaseous firstly going to cool then it to convert into the solid state without passing through the liquid state next we are having the process of evaporation so boiling we have learned that in a boiling first of all a fixed temperature is needed for the boiling so that it can it can convert to liquid to gaseous state but in a evaporation what does it happen for example here some kind of water is there in open fine so and upside sun is there so whenever sun is going to give the heat because sun is going to give the heat to all each and every 
thing whatever is there present near it or present in the atmosphere so this water is also going to take the heat from the sun so when this water is going to take the heat from sun by taking or by absorbing the heat this water changes into the steam and will move upward fine and this process only in which the liquid converts into the gaseous state at any temperature because here sun is not giving any fixed temperature to this water okay so at any temperature water is going to convert into the uh, gaseous state this process is known as evaporation fine but this evaporation only takes place at the surface of liquid how for example this much liquid we are having these all are the particles of liquids fine so when this liquid is going to take the heat from the sun only the upper part of the water is going to take the heat and upper part of the water molecules only these water molecules will take the heat and they will evaporate and they will convert into gaseous form but in a case of boiling what does in boiling happens in boiling whenever we are heating the liquid whenever we are heating the liquid whatever the particles which are downside the heat which are very near the flame that particles will take the heat and they will move upward and then they will convert into the gaseous form so boiling is a bulk phenomena means each and every particle is going to boil but evaporation takes place only at the surface so here we are having the definition of evaporation evaporation is a phenomena of transition of liquid to vapor state here liquid changes to vapor state at any temperature so at any temperature it is going to convert into the vapor state below its boiling point means here not 100 degree celsius is giving uh, is taken by the liquid particles if 100 is given then the boiling is only there but evaporation takes place only below the boiling point evaporation of liquid takes place at all temperature below its boiling point below the boiling point so boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius below the boiling point if boil if the water is going to convert into steam that must be evaporation only for example if 98 degree celsius also is there means that 98 also water is evaporating here evaporation is only there here not fixed temperature we are giving so evaporation takes place at any temperature below the boiling point next point we are having evaporation of liquid takes place only at the free surface of liquid so as i already told this is a free surface of liquid only at the free surface of liquid evaporation can takes place evaporation is not going to take place at the bulk at full surface it is not going to takes place only at the free surface evaporation is a slow and continuous process evaporation is very slow process as one uh, uh, for example in one case we are having evaporation one case we are having boiling we are going to boil the liquid okay we are going to boil the liquid here so what will happen more fast obviously boiling will happening more fast as compared to evaporation because whenever heat will come that particles will gain energy they will vibrate about their mean position then only they can evaporate so it is very slow and continuous process as well as boiling is the fast process fine